Hey folks, Father Sampati from CG Virus. Today we're going to see how to create product mockup with Krita. So basically, uh, someone has asked me uh, how to do that here. Uh, quite obviously, we can do it in Krita. So you can see this is a card, a very simple card. So what I need to do is basically we need to save it first. So I'm just uh, selecting it here. Press Ctrl Shift E to export the PNG sequence uh, let's give it 300 dpi and I'm going to save it in mockup there we go so it needs to be uh, in a single folder uh, so let's create okay we already have this one create the card mockup yep uh, it needs to be saved in a folder uh, where your Krita will be saved as well. The Krita project will be saved as well. So I'm just going to name it back.png or back1 actually. So back1.png. Okay, let's save it and export. All right, I have set uh, the selection here and let's uh, do it here as well. So export as front one dot png okay so those files are here this one is back and i think we have messed up a little bit front dot png oh when it is it here we go yeah so this one is back one okay and uh, this one is whoa this one is front one and I have I think uh, yeah selection let's put as this is front one save export replace there we go so this will be our front one yeah okay front one and uh, this one will be back one so uh, it needs to be saved in a single folder where you will uh, create your Krita uh, uh, pro uh, project all right so now let's get started with Krita so um, I have downloaded a background here it's a random background from Google and uh, probably it's from Pixar or something like that so uh, let's save this one as control shift s i'm here here we go and i'm going to make it cart mockup and it needs to be krita krita document okay let's save it there we go so uh there are uh, many things we need to consider here so first thing is how we should approach is basically you can see the card mockup is here and th these are the two images all right so what we need to do is basically we can import let's drag it here okay let's import it here you can import it as a new file layer okay it should be a new file layer so i'm just going to import it here and you can see that there is a folder icon here okay here which is saying that it's actually a file okay so if you are going to double click this one you can see it will open up here in a new window so this is how it works so now uh, what you need to do is basically quite obviously this is a non-destructive approach and this should be a non-destructive approach so what we need to do is basically uh, instead of using press ctrl t you can see that the layer type cannot use the transform tool uh, what you need to do is basically you need to create a filter so uh, what we can do is basically press ctrl g to group it and i'm going to name it uh, back yeah now right click here uh, uh, actually select this and go here and use a uh, transform mask so um, all uh, of these type of file layer should be used with mask you can use transparency mask you can use filter colorize mask transform mask local uh, actually uh, yeah transform mask colorize transparency and filter mask so we're going to use a transform mask here 
okay so now you can transform it so uh, this is in a very severe perspective so quite obviously we need a perspective selection here so I'm going here selecting it here and uh, go to the perspective and uh, let's try to merge it here there we go simple and let's zoom it a little bit somewhere here and the last bit yeah, somewhere here okay so there we go so this is one so let's go to transform again control t i think yeah okay we have some white stripe here so we need to crop it up a little bit let's see we're going to do that not a problem so i know something like that okay yeah um let's go here i think uh, i'm double clicking that file here and uh, yeah we need some crop so let's crop it there we go let's do it like that okay and let's do it like that okay that's good probably here yeah. yeah that's it so we're going to save it control s save it and it will be as for png yep there we go now i'm going to see the update file here yeah let's change it a little bit here there we go and here as well so like that that's it here okay so that's it press enter and here is your card so uh, we're going to do it uh, just like before uh, let's go to front one insert as a new file there oops internal error let me see okay uh i think there was a bug um i'm using the latest uh krita this one 4.2.1 so uh, i think the bug um, i will report a bug here anyway uh what we can do is basically go here and uh, insert a new file there okay now you can insert it as a new file there. or what you can do is basically just drag it here insert as new layer there we go and then right click here convert and uh, to file layer and you need to save it here so uh, i don't want to do that i just want to just drag it here uh, so it will be raw okay insert in new file layer. there we go so just like before um, we can use uh, a group here and i'm going to name it front there you go and let's go here use a transform mask and uh, let's transform okay just select it i mean perspective uh, i think we need to crop it up a little bit so let's do it first so let's go here in this file icon open it yep we need to crop uh there you go go and okay that's it so let's save it until let's save okay so now let's go here and let's see okay so now let's go here in the transform mask press ctrl t and uh, go to the perspective there we go and let's ooh, let's shift it 
here, somewhere here, 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 yeah, okay. Somewhere here. Here. That'll work. Okay, let's save it. Let's save it. Okay. Okay. That's good. Uh, now let's duplicate this guy. Oh, I'm going to do another one. So let's duplicate it. Yeah, copy of front. It should be beneath the front. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. So this is front two. And let's see. Yeah, there's M. So Ctrl T. Oops, sorry. This one. Oh, we need a uh, transform mask here. So let's create a transform mask. This is the transform mask two. So I'm just going to delete this one. I don't need this here. And now let's go to Ctrl T. There you go. And I'm in perspective. So just go for some perspective. And let's do it like that. And let's, I'm not sure where. Somewhere here. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Let's enter it and uh, it will be there. Okay. Okay, so Jando Jando. Okay, so that's how you can work with it. Now, <coughs> let's talk about the things we need to do. All right, so now suppose we need to do another one. Oh, jeez. Wait. Okay, so now uh, we have this and we have this so what we can do is basically let's go for this one press ctrl c to copy and let's go to inkscape uh, that means uh, you know krita and uh, let's go to the back i'm going to layer 2 and going to click the icon here okay we can also just ctrl v paste the whole vector layer here as well okay so there we go and let's resize it yeah there we go I'm doing it very roughly okay so I yeah. have okay Done. so now oh, let's save it as back one PNG so control S save and okay so now if we go here you can see it's already been updated okay let's go to the front one let's select this guy let's go to the vector this guy yep ctrl c copy and let's paste it here ctrl v something wrong haven't Okay, put this guy. Yeah, we'll see. Copy. And it'll be best. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. Hmm. I think I have 
forgot to rasterize the layers so uh, i mean you know convert it to path object to path yeah because it's a font okay let's do it control c hopefully it will work control v there you go okay so yeah object to path because uh it was a font okay a straight font and this one is path anyway let's go you okay there we go yep i'm just uh, you know doing it roughly roughly here and there there we go okay so let's save it and let's save okay front one kg let's close it and hopefully done okay so that's how you can work with it all right so now uh let's talk about some things here so uh sometimes you may need to do some extra effects like this one it has a blur so what we can do is basically we can create uh if you if you need uh some type of blur hair only in this one or uh, any type of filter what you can do is basically you can select this okay then go here and filter mask create a filter mask okay now you can color change you can do cyan and uh, lots of stuff here as well not a problem here you can change it uh, but i don't need that uh, what i need is basically i need uh, to show you uh filter there so suppose you need some kind of blur or something like that you can do it here okay just use you know simple blur but uh this blur should be from scene so we're going to do that before that uh sometimes you may need to mask it as well so what you can do is basically select this one and uh, create a filter mask uh, i mean you know sorry transparency mask here okay and uh, now you can just go to your brush and do the stuff you wanted to do here so black is black and you can mask it as well or just go to selection and do your stuff uh, the basic stuff something like that suppose it has a finger so control uh control shift yeah control shift black and stuff like that okay press x to swap the parameter okay so uh other things are pretty much fine here uh yeah so let's do the transparency mask here yeah. okay uh now uh let's talk about um other things like you know uh holes in uh, how to how to go for filter uh to holes in something like we need some kind of blur here so how can we do that sure so let's go here uh yeah okay and uh, let's get a filter layer okay and just use your blur so like this just match the reference image here something like a nine or ten or something like that okay now let's do it here and uh, let's create some mask yep how to do it is create a transparency mask there we go and uh, let's try with the brush first let's see if it works or not Ugh okay it seems we don't need that layer so uh, what you need to do is basically go to here uh, create a filter layer and uh, let's go for a blur and uh, let's create something like 10 pixel 10 pixel bar it will be good okay there we go now let's go to brush or you can use gradient as well so black and white mask right so if I go to black and uh, just draw some black hair you can see it will be sharp if i go press x to white 
it will be blur again okay so it's already creating that so suppose we need uh, some gradient here so just yeah. let's see okay let me see all right so we're going for a gradient from white to black here we go foreground to background so it's not white to black it's foreground to background so if i go for red it will be red okay so i'm just going for a white and black one white so this will be a foreground to background and uh, let's use some angular somewhere here yeah there we go so it will create the depth of field for you or uh, if you want to clear a little bit there we go that's it okay so that's how you can work with it as well but i think we need a little bit blur yeah yeah let's go for opacity and just decrease it a little bit so that's how you can work with it all right so that's it and then save it okay uh yeah and uh when you are giving it to your uh, client or designer just to make sure that you have uh created a single folder here okay and each in the front one and the back one which means these two files this one this is the back one and this is the front one okay this should should uh, and this has to be uh here in a folder you know in the project folder otherwise it will not work okay or it will work but uh if i let's see yeah i have just replaced uh this font one here in my desktop so if i go now to my Krita file it can it will uh, it will uh, give you this error that uh, the expected path is not there so what do you want to do uh, do you want to look at it manually press yes and uh, go to your desktop or whatever so this should be the front one so let's open it here yes let's go to front one because we have two file here so now it will be loaded okay and if it was not loaded what it would say it would uh, uh, give you a uh, white blank okay it will be blank so yeah that's how you should work with it and uh, that's how it can be done pretty easily all right thank you i'm father sympathetic from city virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye